One of the most requested videos I've been asked for is an updated milk molar guide for Grounded since so many have been added in the 1.0 update. Rather than make one mega video that would likely be over two hours long, I decided to break it up into four videos with two for the lower yard and two for the upper yard. This video will cover the grasslands, oak tree, koi pond, and hedge. The next video will cover the haze, picnic table, sandbox, trash heap, and black ant lab. The third video will cover the western upper yard, and the final video will cover the eastern upper yard. I'll leave a link for all the videos in the description for each video as I record them. We're just starting the video off by finding the milk molars that are in the grasslands area. There are a total of seven milk molars in the grasslands area. Five regular milk molars, two mega milk molars. First up, we're going to be in the northwest portion here above the flooded zone. You'll notice the giant gnome right there. And we're going to be coming under here and going into the sleeve. Do be careful. There is a wolf spider spawn under here. And this thing does come out and patrol in this direction sometimes. So we're going to come past this upgrade rock. Make sure you grab that. And there's your first milk molar. After you grab that one, you can come down here, make a left, and just follow this retaining wall down until you hit a puddle, which will have our second milk molar. So here's our second milk molar. It is in this little puddle area, which is right here. So you're looking for this little puddle area on the map. It's going to grab your second milk molar. Next up, we're going to be heading to the billy hog tray to grab our first mega milk molar. So just head southwest towards the oak tree. So you're going to be looking for this billy hog tray right here, this giant white tray. You can see it right here. This is where we are on the map. It's leaning up against the jabby cola can. And if we head up here on top, you can walk up top and you can grab your mega milk molar right up here. Next up, we're going to be heading to the red ant hill to grab another milk molar. So just head south. Next up is going to be the red ant hill. There's one milk molar in here. This is a little bit northwest of the original field station that you're going to run into when you spawn in. Make sure you have a light source in here. If you want to be safe and not have to fight the ants, there's specifically the soldier ants, just have one a full set of red ant armor. We're going to pop the torch. This one's going to be real easy to find. Basically, what we're going to do is just walk down here and just go straight. So this is the first area that will have a choice of which way you can go. You can either go left or straight. Just make sure you go straight because the milk molar is straight down here in this next open area, right down here around the edge. And there's the milk molar. Make sure you grab that. Next up, we're going to be heading out and going down towards the southern portion of the grasslands to grab our next milk molar. Next up is going to be a milk molar that's underneath the decking down here. I'll show you where we are on the map when we get here. Be careful because there is a wolf spider spawn right next to it. More likely than not, this guy's going to be here during the day, so you might have to fight him or come here at night when he's not here. So we are right here in the southern portion of the map, kind of right, right in the dead center underneath the deck that is, lean, that is attached to the house. Next up, we're going to be heading to the leaning plank that's inside the middle of the grasslands area to head down into another wolf spider den and find the next milk molar. Next, we're going to be going under the fallen board or plank, whatever this thing is in the middle of the yard. It's a giant white piece of wood that's laying over. It is right here. It's in the southern central area of the grasslands, just north of the fallen branch. So we're going to be heading down in here. Now, there's a wolf spider at the end of this, so be careful. When you come down here, you're probably going to have to fight the wolf spider unless you get lucky and it has wandered out of its hole. So we're going to head all the way down here. There are some upgrade rocks as well for all science. And as you can see, there's our milk molar. Next up, we're going to be heading to Trow Gulch, formerly known as Spade Gulch, to collect our next milk molar. So we're over in Trow Gulch. Like I said, it was formerly called Spade Gulch. It is right here, kind of just north of the wetlands over here. And what we're going to be doing is you're going to have to break these things. You're going to have to break the acorns with a hammer of some sort. Now I have a black ox hammer. You'll probably only have the regular, you'll probably only have the insect hammer at this point. And then behind it, you're going to notice there's also a rock that needs to be blown up. So make sure you have yourself some splat burst or brat burst to break this open. We're going to throw that in there. You're also going to need a tier two dagger because this one's going to actually be underwater and you're going to have to chop it to get to it. We're going to head on down here. There's lots of upgrade stones down here. And actually, there's another rock down here. I forgot that was down there. That's new because that never used to be there or it wasn't there before 1.0, I don't believe. So after you break that one, you're going to need the two brat bursts. There's also another way to get out of here. If you go over that way there, you can get out. There's tons of upgrade stones down here. So we're going to be coming over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves our slime torch and our dagger. Like I said, you probably want to have either gill tubes. You probably just need gill tubes for this. You don't really need the bubble helmet because it's not that far. We're just going to swim back in here, chop these roots up, the soggy roots here with a tier two dagger, either the bone dagger or the spider fang dagger and grab yourselves this mega milk molar. So that's all of the milk molars that were inside the grasslands area. Next, we're going to be heading over to the oak tree and koi pond to grab all the ones that are over there. Next up, we're going to be grabbing all the milk molars that are in the oak tree and koi pond area. There's a total of 16 here, 10 regular milk molars, 6 mega milk molars. First one's going to be underneath the well can, which is right here next to the oak tree. So this is the oak tree right here. You should be familiar with that. That's where Burgle's located. We're going to come down here and find our first milk molar is right underneath of here. Then we're going to head inside the oak tree to grab our next milk molar. This is actually a mega milk molar. So we're going to head back up here in the corner and I'll pull out my torch just so you can actually see. 
Now, this one's actually hidden behind a rock. I did blow it up just a second ago when I was I forgot to start recording. So unfortunately, there's normally a rock right here. Basically, you can just drop your sprat burst or throw your splat burst at it and break it. Grab this milk molar here, the mega milk molar. You will notice there are two wolf spiders. So more likely than not, there one or both of them is going to be inside of here. After you grab that one, you're going to come out and go down this exit over here. Then we're going to head to the north part of the tree where we're going to find our next regular milk molar. So this one's going to be over here. And usually there's a wolf spider here, although it may be out right now. So yeah, there's normally a wolf spider spawn right here. This is our next milk molar. It is directly above the tree. So as you can see, we just grabbed the one inside the tree and then this one over here. Now we're going to head inside of the oak tree lab to grab a couple more before going to the koi pond. So heading into the oak tree lab, there's going to be a couple in here. And then we're going to head underneath the or underneath the oak tree into the koi pond. First off, we're going to go grab the one down here that is in the little room that's over here. So make sure you use the biometric scanner here. Come down here, grab the raw science, go here to the left. And under here, you will see we have ourselves a mega milk molar. Now we're going to head back up into the oak tree lab. We're going to go past where Burgle spawns at. Make sure you grab all the stuff down here. We're going to go over this way. We're going to get our torch out just so we can see. Heading across this route over here and straight across, we're going to run into some upgrade rocks as well as the some the milk molar that's back here. So you're going to make sure you want to grab this one. So after you grab this one, you can just run past here and head down on here to the water, or you can go back where you came from and fall down. Either way, it doesn't matter. We're going to be looking for the spot back here that has raw science. Now, for this part, what we're going to be doing is going underneath of the oak tree lab here, and that's going to lead to the koi pond. I do recommend having on fin flops, and obviously you're going to need a breathing apparatus. I'd say the bubble helmet is going to be necessary here just because this is a long swim. Now, because I'm in the custom game mode, I'm not going to take damage from the water, but you'll see this is a very long swim. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be heading down here. There's lots of diving bell spiders in here. So if you have a gill tube, and you, but you do manage to kill most of the diving bell spiders, you should be okay. I just recommend having the bubble helmet because you don't want to end up getting lost down here. So we're just going to follow this path. And as you can see, it winds around, twists us upside down and whatnot. When you get to this area, you're going to see there's raw signs over here. What you're going to do is go for this broken part of the lab over here, grab the upgrade rock. There might also be a scab here. We're just going to be going through here. And then we're going to go up this tunnel here. Make sure there's there's lots of upgrade rocks just randomly scattered around here in the corners. We're going to head through here. We're going to come to a fork in the road. If you go left, there is a raw science. There's also a backpack back there with some errors in it. But this is going to be our milk molars under here. So make sure you use your tier two dagger to chop through the saga roots to get that. Then you're going to head up here and just follow this tunnel, which is going to lead us to the next milk molar and then actually the exit into the koi pond. So they do a good job of having the raw science lead you to where you need to go. There's usually two diving bell spiders in here. Down here underneath is going to be our mega milk molar. So make sure you grab that one before heading past the diving bell spiders or fighting them and then heading out towards the oak tree or towards the koi pond. So the first one that's actually in the pond itself is going to be directly below the skimmer net here. So the skimmer net's on the northwestern side of the koi pond. We're going to be swimming straight down here. You probably should have a lighting source because this is a little bit hard to see even during the daytime. So we'll pull out our torch or slime lantern just so you can see. We're going to be coming here behind this sunken log. You're going to need a tier two dagger for this one to make sure you can chop the soggy roots right here so you can grab that one. After you grab that one, what we can do is head out and just come up here towards the the rock up here that's kind of flat that we can get off of so that we can grab the next one, which is going to be up on the shoreline. So after you come out of the water, what you're going to want to do is head just straight to the wall up here because if you follow the shoreline here, you're going to run into a bunch of mosquitoes. If you run all the way up here, however, you're not going to find any. You're also going to find lots of upgrade rocks back here. What we're going to be doing is just following the retaining wall down here, and there will be a milk molar just leaning up against it. So here's our next milk molar. It is behind the flowers here. So this little garden area that's on the north side of the pond, it's like directly in the center of the north side of the pond, leaning up against the retaining wall. After you grab that one, you can head down along the retaining wall again. We're going to be jumping back into the pond to grab our next milk molar, which is going to be an underwater tunnel. So you'll follow the wall down here until you come to this leaf. So the leaf is going to be right here, kind of in the northeastern portion of the koi pond. It's, not, it's going to be very easy to see. Once you find the leaf, what we're going to do is we're going to equip ourselves with our slime lantern. We're going to swim straight down and just follow the wall all the way down. The easiest place to do is just follow this air bubble down here. You can grab the air bubble if you need air. And what we're going to be looking for is this tunnel under here. This tunnel is going to lead to our next milk molar. Of course, you're going to need the tier two dagger again to chop the soggy vines as we get back in here. And there it is back there. Just chop that soggy vines down, grab that, head back out, and then go back up on the leaf we came from because it's going to lead us to our next milk molar. So head up the leaf, and then we're going to come over here to the retaining wall. And what you're going to notice is I've actually built some clover roofs here. 
I believe the intended way to grab this one, this is a newer one that was added in one point in the 1.0 update. I believe what the intended path is, is to get it to the upper yard and then just jump off the retaining wall and glide down and grab this one. If you've made it to the upper yard already, you can certainly do that. I just built up here because I was assuming maybe you were trying to get this before you went to the upper yard. And honestly, building a bunch of clovers over here is not terribly expensive because you can grab a bunch of clovers over there. Obviously, there's a bunch of sap over there, and you can just grab some weed stems and bring them down here if you need to build up. So here's this milk molar. After you grab that one, what we're going to be doing is heading back down, and I'll just show you on the map where it is real quick just to make sure we show where everything is, just north of the pagoda. After you grab this one, we're going to head down here and follow the retaining wall until the end until we can so we can grab our next milk molar, which is a mega milk molar sitting in the corner. Here's our next milk molar. This is the mega milk molar. It is in the corner here against the wall north of the pagoda right over here the northeastern part of the lower koi pond. So grab that. So after you grab that one, what we're going to be doing next is going down to the actual koi pond lab area. So we can grab a couple that are down there. Then we're going to come back out and grab the last one that is outside of the koi pond over on the other shore. So you're going to swim down into this little area here where this hose goes down. And as you can see, I am right here. It's going to be a little bit west of the pagoda here. And we're just going to swim down here and grab some air while you're down here. We're going to go past the T-Rex. We're going to go past a couple of milk molars because what we're going to do is grab the one that's back here all the way back by the lab. And then we're going to grab the key that's back here that helps us open up the treasure chest that's going to have a mega milk molar in it before grabbing the last one that's down here. So as you're coming down here, just make sure you grab the jets over here. They're going to push you along. Have you get back here super quick. And what we're going to be doing is coming back here. Now, you may have already completed the lab. That's cool. If you have, you may have missed one that's back here. So we're going to go back here to this broken part of the lab over here that's fallen off and head down here. And basically, we're going to this area right here, which is where you turn one of the switches on. So, of course, if you've not been down here before, you're going to go up in there and actually activate the switch that's in there. That's going to ask you to turn on three of the switches. This Three switches, this is one of the switches. So we're going to head down in here, swim through this tunnel, all the way up in here. While we're down here, I'll mention there is a scab down there as well as the toxicology badge is down there on a skeleton that you can see back there. The switch is right here, and if you go all the way down this corner, you're going to need the Tier 2 Dagger once again, chop these soggy roots to grab this milk molar. After you grab that one and have completed all the pond lab stuff, what we can do now is go find the key to the, the mossy key for the sunken treasure chest that's down here. So we're going to come back out where we came in from, and then we're going to be swimming back towards the main lab. You're probably going to have to get air a couple of times while you're doing this, otherwise... You'll surely run out of air unless you're just basically slaying all of the diving bell spiders down here, which obviously, re which if you weren't aware, actually replenish your oxygen. So what we're looking for is this jet back here, and it is right below the main part of the pond lab down here. And where you're going to come down here is you're going to go down here into this little secret tunnel. We're going to head all the way down here. Now, once again, there's going to be diving bell spiders down here, so of course, be careful about that. Honestly, if you fight them, though, you can actually get oxygen from them. There's also some upgrade stones back there. There's some more upgrade stones down here. Just follow this all the way along so we can grab the key that's down here. The key is going to be back here leaning up against this root. So you're going to grab the mossy key. There are some upgrade rocks back here in the corner as well. Just trying to point out any things that we see that are even semi-related. Like anything, that any kind of little special stuff back here. As we're finding all these things, I'm going to let you know just so you can grab them in case you missed them when you were coming through these areas. So we're going to head back out this tunnel. More likely than not, you're, pro you're either going to have to have fin flops to super swim past these guys, or you're going to have to fight most of them. Either way, it's okay. So as we come out of the tunnel, what we're going to be doing is going back towards the T-Rex so we can grab open up the treasure chest, and then there's another milk molar close by to that one. So as you come to this jet, the first jet that pushed us through here, what you're going to be doing is going just below it. And you can see down here is a treasure chest. We're going to open up this treasure chest here using the mossy key. Inside, we're going to have ourselves a mega milk molar as well as the sunken Alpers burgle chip. Now, after you grab that one, what you're going to do is come up here and go straight up to this wall because there's another milk molar right up here. You can see it. It's behind soggy roots again. So make sure you grab this milk molar before you head out. And now we're going to head out to the shoreline, north, the southern shoreline of the Koi Pond to grab our last milk molar for this area. So last but not least, for the Koi Pond and Oak Tree area, we're going to head down here to this side of the Koi Pond. We're on the southern side over here by the milk cart, and I'll show you where we are on the map once we get over here. This is going to be the final milk molar that's in this area. Then we're going to head over to the hedge to finish off this video. So here's this milk molar right here by the ore weavers. And we are, of course, all the way over here 
directly south of the one we grabbed on the northern pond. You're going to see it's down here. Or the northern side of the pond is going to be in the southern side of the pond. So now let's head over to the hedge and grab the ones that are over there. The hedge has a total of nine milk molars, six regular milk molars, three mega milk molars. The hedge is down here on the bottom right corner of the map. It's this L-shaped bush. What we're going to be doing first is showing you where the milk molars are that are underneath the hedge. Then we'll jump into the hedge itself and go through the lab and show you where those are. So first off, you're going to want to come over here by the deck next to the deck. You have this outlet back here, and you'll see there's one up on top of here. There are a bunch of larvae back here, so be careful if you are playing, obviously, in survival. These larvae will definitely be aggroed on you. There's also some mites and bombardier beetles over there. Once in a while, a wolf spider will come under here as well or come back this way. So you can actually get up here two ways. The easier way is going to be to just build up using clover leaves. If you're not good at parkouring, if you are good at parkouring, you can actually walk up this wire right here, jump to this little lip, and then use a dandelion glider to jump in and grab this milk molar. So there, basically, you just jump up like that. And don't worry, I didn't do that on the first take. I had to basically edit this out to get it down to where I actually got it. So we do have a glider equipped. Let's just make sure. And we're going to jump off, pull our glider out. And then there's also a scab up there, so make sure you grab that. We're going to use our glider over here. And this is how you get to that milk molar. Be careful you don't touch the outlet up there, because if you do touch that, you actually get electrocuted and you will die. So now let's move on to the next one that's underneath the hedge, then we'll jump into the hedge itself. So if you follow the white wall from the outlet, you will find this other milk molar back here, which is sitting on the ground. I will show you where it is on the map, just so you're perfectly aware of where it is. It is down here in the bottom right corner underneath. So basically, if you get to grab the one on the outlet, then follow this wall all the way down here, you should be able to grab it. If you stay along the wall, you should be relatively safe. There's occasionally a wolf spider that wanders back here, but if you do it during the day, you should be safe. So now let's head up into the hedge and grab all the ones that are up there. So now we're going to head into the hedge itself, and this is the green paper clip. So we are over here. You'll notice there's a field station up here. So we're just a little bit to the east of the outlet that we just grabbed over here. What you're going to want to do is come up this stick right here and follow this up. And I'm going to show you how to grab the first milk molar, which is on top of a juice box. So you go past the field station, make sure you grab the stuff that's in there. Now, as I'm going through the hedge, I'm going to, I already did the lab itself. So I'm going to assume you've chopped down, gotten through the entire lab. That's going to save some time for this video. If you haven't, you're going to need to make sure you obviously have the insect hammer when you come over here anyway. So the first molar is up on this and that's in the hedge is up on top of this juice box. There are two ways to get to this one. I'm going to show you the you can actually parkour using some leaves over there and but i'm going to show you the way i believe is intended to get it because there's actually a scab up here you can grab as well so you'll get a little bonus here so what we're going to be doing is getting up on top of this red wire over here so that we can make our way back up to the juice box so just hop on over here and if you don't make it on the first try it's okay just make sure you have a glider when you're going through so what you're going to do is jump up on this red wire here. I'm going to pull my torch out and actually put on my firefly headlamp just so it's a little bit easier to see. Even during the daytime, it's kind of dark over here. So bringing a light source is always a good idea. Also starting as soon as the, you can during the day will be helpful. And all we're going to be doing is following these wire, this wire over here. You can, of course, grab the raw science as you're going through here. I'm not worried about that for this video. But obviously, if you're playing, you want to do that. So the easiest way to get over here is going to be to basically walk off onto this leaf right here. And we want to jump over to this leaf over here very carefully. Jump up onto this one, jump up to here. And then what you can do is you can actually go back here. And I'm going to show you this little bonus tip. There's a scab back here. So you can grab the scab that's back here, which is behind this leaf, and come back over here. And there's your milk molar over there. So what you want to do is make sure you have your glider out. Just jump off and glide over here. Like I said, you can also parkour your way over here by just jumping on these leaves, but you probably want to grab that scab anyway. So that's how to get to that milk molar. So after you grab the one off the juice box, what we're going to do is we're going to take this zip line down here. And this is going to take us to our next little special jump here. And I, it is a little dark, so it could be hard to see. So we're going to go over here. We're going to grab the one that's in the bird bath. So there's a little secret bird bath jump over here. So if you just follow this branch around over here, so we're going to be looking for this little stick right here. And just to show you where we are, we came down the zip line. This is the red wire we were just walking on. You just want to come over here. You'll notice there are some berries over here. We're just looking for the stick that just sticks down like this. And then what we're going to be doing is jumping across here. Now this is an even trickier jump. You basically have to jump between these leaves, and that'll take you over to where the how to get up to the bird bath pretty simply. So, And we actually were able to do it pretty easily there, honestly. That's another one of those jumps where you can fall a bunch of times. So what we're going to do is head up here. There's usually one spiderling. I do not see it. Sometimes there's mosquitoes up here. We're going to take a right here. Then over here is going to be our mega milk molar. There's also some upgrade stones in here, and I believe there's a scab up top. So that's the mega milk molar that's up here, right here in the corner, just to show you where we are on top of the bird bath. 
So let's head back in. We're going to jump back on this stick very carefully and walk ourselves back in so that we continue along through the hedge lab. Okay, so we're back to the same point we were at before. We just came across this zip line by the red wire. Now we're just going to jump across here to these mushrooms. We're going to make a right hand turn. We're going to jump up to the stick or just make your way over here. Head over here. Make sure you grab everything that's in this building, obviously. There's no molars in there. We're going to head around here onto these mu this little mushroom path over here. It's going to take us over to the flying discman, which is where you can find the broodmother or the lair for the broodmother. So the lair for the broodmother is up there to the right. There's a scab here. Make sure you grab that. We're going to head over here. And now we're heading towards the main lab. That's going to be where we're going to grab the second set or basically the second half of the molars. You can actually take the zip line or walk around it. Either way, doesn't matter. So we'll take this over here. Obviously, you want to make sure you're grabbing everything inside of these rooms. Once you come out of this room, you're going to make a left. Head up here. This is going to take us into the main lab for the hedge. Now, I've already completed the hedge lab on here, so you may have, if you've not been over here before, you're going to have to make sure you do a lot of this. I'm basically just going to be shortcutting it, so just to show you where everything is. So we're going to be coming down here, and we're going to be taking this zip line down. If you haven't done the hedge, if you haven't done the hedge lab yet, you're going to have to hit this computer in the biometric scanner. What you're going to do is come out here and make yourself a right hand turn. And then you're going to come up here. Go down the little mushrooms here towards the other mushroom path. And this is going to be where we're going to grab our next milk molar. So we're heading up toward this other mushroom path here. When we get to the top of this, we're going to make a left hand turn. Taking us down this little branch back here. And you can see there's a milk molar off in the distance. So you can, of course, grab that. Just be careful as you're walking over there. You can also walk up here and go in there. In that room will be the Broodmother BLT recipe. So another bonus tip there. After you grab that, you're going to come back here. We're going to go back into the lab because there's a couple that are actually inside the lab itself. So head back down the mushrooms here. And actually, if you want to be even quicker, you could just stay up top here. And assume you've already done the lab. You can just jump on top of here. Because what we're trying to do is get all the way to the top. So this is going to be the easiest way to get these, honestly is to go all the way up top here. You also won't have to fight any of the spiders. And then we're going to jump over to here. Head all the way up top. So there's one all the way up on top. This is the one that was moved. If you watch my previous video, this one used to be in a different location, and they moved it all the way up here. So as you can see, there's one all the way up on top of here. Make sure you grab that one. So now we're going to head back down. There's a gold, another gold, there's a gold milk molar up here. So we're just going to take this all the way down. Then we're looking for, there should be another zip line somewhere that we can grab. That'll take us actually right to it, or to the location of where it's located. Just jump over here. It's going to be right there. You'll see it sitting outside of this little door. So the zip line that takes you from this room and you hit the branch and fall off and go over here, there's actually a mega milk molar there. So that's the last one that's in the hedge lab itself. So if you have a glider, you can just jump off. If not, you can just make your way down. There's going to be two that are actually on the ground below this one. So the first of which is going to be inside the broken lab down here. You can just make your way safely down. And we're going to be looking for this little broken compartment here. So just to show you where we are on the map. You're up here. This is where the lab is in the tree. So there's the door that comes down. And if you just fall down here, there's one in this broken piece here. And there's one more. There's another. There's a gold milk molar up here along the wall. So let's head on up here real quick. And the final milk molar that's in the hedge area is going to be this gold milk molar. We are along the retaining wall here. There's a stink bug that spawns over there. There's lots of ore weavers. So when you came out from where I just showed you the one that was broken, just head straight in the, in the underneath in the broken part of the lab that's on the ground. Just head straight north along the wall and you'll grab this milk molar. In total, we found 32 milk molars in this video with 21 regular milk molars and 11 mega milk molars. I'll leave links for the other parts of this series in the description as I record them. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button. Here's another video you might find helpful as well.